niggas know my pyroclastic flow. You niggas know my pyroclastic flow, flow, flow. You niggas know my pyroclastic flow. It's R A W, R A W. You're looking at the Grand Wizard, Warlord, vocal cords so vicious. And I don't have to show riches to pull up, pull off with some bad bitches. And it ain't about chivalry, it's about dope lyrics and delivery. It's about my persona, ain't nothing like a man that can do what he wanna. Ain't nothing like a man that you knew on the corner. Seem come up and fuck up the owner. Seem throw up Westside California. Nigga, I'm hot as Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Utah, I got multiple bitches, it's a new law. Keep a hold of your riches, dumb nigga, don't spin it. As soon as you get it, and recognize I'm a captain, you a lieutenant. I can say what I wanna say, ain't nothing to it. Gangsta rap made me do it. If I call you a nigga, ain't nothing to it. Gangsta rap made me do it. I can act like an animal, ain't nothing to it. Gangsta rap made me do it. Talking some treason. I don't know why they got just crews there. They should have the whole fucking gang out there. <clears throat> We're gonna go through this. You're gonna learn everything about this because this should have happened a long, long time ago. Like in the 40s, 50s, before then, even. And let's start by saying Article 3. Section 3 of the Constitution is the only crime mentioned in the Constitution. It is high treason. The definition in writing by the founders ensured that the accusation of treason must be witnessed by two or more citizens thus preventing the accusation from being leveled seriously against any citizen out of jealousy or spite. Treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them, or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless on the testimony of two witnesses to the same overt act, or on confession in open court, the Congress shall have power to declare the punishment of treason, but no attainder of treason shall work corruption of blood or forfeiture except during the life of the person attainted. They still impose that while the government may seek and obtain forfeiture of the assets of any person convicted of treason, upon the person's death uh, the assets may still be inherited by his or her heirs legally. That is absolute bullshit. No, folks, when they freeze your fucking accounts, that means nobody gets it. Swiss bank my balls. Treason committed against the United States. The authority of the United States ought to be enabled to punish it. That's why there's three different branches, folks. But as newfangled and artificial treasons have been the great engines by which violent factions the natural spring off, free government have usually wreaked their alternate alternate malignity on each other. The convention have, with great judgment, opposed a barrier to this peculiar danger by inserting a constitutional definition of the crime. Fixing the proof fixing the proof necessary for conviction of it, and restraining the con restraining the Congress, even punishing it from extending the consequences of guilt beyond the person of its author. That was an act of treason right there. That fucking paragraph. So, you're wondering, uh, what's Ted Cruz and all them got to do with it? Well, duh, I think you already fucking know, I hope. All right, so we're convinced that the act of blocking the Congress from passing a budget, shutting down the executive branch of government, and allowing the debt ceiling to be held hostage, forcing the United States into a debt 
a default of its debts is an act of treason. Why do we believe this? Our opinion is not a partisan one, favoring one party or another. Or another. However, we believe the purpose and cause of these actions is based on partisanship and is tantamount to a civilian coup d'etat against the federal government. Since an attempt to undermine, destroy, or harm the U.S. government is an act of treason and must be witnessed by more than two people, millions have seen this on television, read it in papers or online, heard it on the radio, heard it through word of mouth. The actions of those members of Congress who participate in it are de facto guilty of treason. Okay, Mr. Cruz and Mrs. Clinton and all you other people playing hopscotch up there for president. They should all be, folks, when I say all, I mean all. Every single fucking member. I think together, uh, with the House, Senate, and Cabinet, it should be about, at least 570 people should be rounded up right fucking now and hung on the spot. See? Now this is where it's good. To know what the fuck you're talking about. Like me. Because if I was just the average Joe reading this, I would have just bought into their bullshit. And everyone else would think that, oh, that's the way it was. So, this whole time, they're telling us the truth. You know, word for word. Okay, good, great. Then we get down to here. And... Both the traditional and liberal-minded factions of the Republican and Democratic parties can see no benefit in continued stalling and want to pass legislation to restart the government and prevent the default on payments. However, the leadership of the Tea Party, a faction of the Republicans, continue to forcefully trying to keep the government shut down, even though their actions are hurting almost every American in one way or another. Excuse me? Can you name a crime anybody in the Tea Party has committed? Anybody? Let's name a few crimes that one person in the entire fucking White House has committed. Treason? Treason? Are you fucking kidding me? These people should be slowly tortured. Boiled in oil, dragged around by the back of a fucking car, thrown off of a fucking cliff, set on fire. Their fucking bones disintegrated, pulverized, hanging, chop a head off, minced meat would be more like it. The day is going to come. Judgment day always comes. Laugh it up, evil. We're fucking laughing right with you. You fucking moron, because you know what's going to happen. Like DMX says, at the end of the day, whose will will you think will prevail? Fucking guy who made the will or the schmuck who got tossed out?
crimes, murders, <sighs> school indoctrination, socialist health care, police state, voter fraud, mob ties, Obamacare fraud, IRS crimes, GSA crimes, financial crimes, identity fraud, reparations fraud, war crimes, fast and furious, gun walking, constitutional law violations, bailouts, withholding evidence, environmental fraud, the fucking list goes on and on. What do you mean, what should he be arrested or impeached for? Arrested? Impeached? He should be boiled in fucking oil. All of them, every fucking person you see right there, are completely fucking Looney Tunes. Definition of a fucking psychopath. Go and look it up, and then take a look at these fucking people. Tell me they ain't psychopaths. I want a drug test on every fucking member in government. I gotta take a drug test to flip a couple of hamburgs, but these fucking assholes are running the government in charge of all of our money and lives. No drug test. I can only imagine the fucking drugs they're on. You know they're on the good shit, man. Wow. If you have to uh, ask what crimes if you're still behind this man you have committed an act of heresy my friend and you should have your fucking throat slit as well people think they know what they're talking about but instead they're aiding illegal aliens oh oh i'm sorry I'm not supposed to call them illegal aliens. I'm not supposed to call them illegal. That's in, uh, one attack. Saw that video before. I was only 16 when Obama executed me. Bomb is a criminal. If you read this, it tells all about the communist movement to take over the entire fucking government and turn it into a socialist dictatorship. Okay. He's a communist. I'm choosing these words deliberately. Lying. Senator McCain today said that there's been voter fraud going on in the battleground states. Uh, Acorn is tampering with America's most precious right. There has to be a full and complete investigation. And he also said that you need to disclose uh, your full relationship with Acorn. I'm wondering uh, if you have any reaction to the reports of, of voter fraud and also to Senator McCain's charge. Well, first of all, uh, my relationship to Acorn is pretty straightforward. Uh, when It's probably 13 years ago. Uh, when... Words aren't even worth time anymore. Every fucking word out of this man's mouth is a lie. And I mean every word. Even the word duh. He's fucking lying about. I 
how we're going back to all this fucking shit in Afghanistan and Iraq. And guess where it's leading to? Some big shit going on in Kabul, Afghanistan with fucking drug cartels and money laundering. Fucking Mexico City Part 2. Yeah, and the fucking dumb schmucks marines over there think they're fucking guarding the poppy fields. They're over there helping grow the shit. And deliver it. You fucking schmuck. Get some damn brains. What the fuck are you doing in there anyways? Who the hell are you fighting for? Who? Hello, McFly. No foreign entanglements. Five fucking presidents said it. Before we had foreign entanglements. Covering some treason. Because I don't think people understand the power in that word. This is the first word my teacher taught us. Damn, this guy just got black as fuck. But anywho, there's different uh, levels of treason. Uh, if you ask me, and I am a founding father, treason is treason, and all treason is punishable by death, period. You fucking betrayed your country? Seven years in prison? Uh, no. Not in my country. Any form of betrayal to this country, while you are in a position of power to help it and defend it, no. That is punishable by death only. Let's take a look. So, you got treason against the United States, consisting in levying war against them, or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. Two sentences. Sound familiar, folks? Now, in case you don't know, the fucking president is arming and protecting ISIS. Hello. No person shall be convicted of treason unless on the testimony of two, 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 not two hundred, not two thousand, one, two witnesses to the same act or on confession in open court. The Congress shall have power to declare the punishment of treason, and only the Congress. I'm, I'm so... I'm so sick of seeing the fucking... Like, people, everyone, just go right by Congress. Like, they're not even fucking there. Thank God you got people there like Trey Gowdy. Keep his shit in order. If any person or persons... Owing allegiance to the United States shall levy war against them or adhere to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere, shall be thereof convicted on confession in open court or on the testimony of two witnesses to the same act of treason, whereof he or they shall stand indicted. Such person or persons shall be adjudged guilty of treason against the United States and shall suffer death. Any person having knowledge of the commission of any of the treasons aforesaid shall conceal and not as soon as may be disclose and make known the same to the President of the United States or one of the judges thereof or the President or Governor of a particular state or someone on the judges or justices thereof, such person or persons on conviction shall be judged guilty of misprison of treason and shall be imprisoned not exceeding seven years 
I don't give a damn what their name is. Or what their title is. I'm not sure if you folks fucking know this. Apparently, a lot of you don't. The Patriots will know this. One person in this entire country, when the shit really boils down to it, has absolute power in this country. Who is it? Some of you didn't even fucking answer. No, it's not the Attorney General. No, it's not the President. It's the Sheriff. Okay? Nobody in this entire country has more authority than the sheriff of any county. Do we have that clear? Nobody has more authority than the sheriff. So you know what you folks need to do? You need to gather a fucking posse. You need to go down to your fucking sheriff's office. You need to make aware of what you are aware of going on in government. You tell him that you're planning on arresting, you know, people needed to be arrested. And that if he's not going to go down and help you with that, then he can come back in cuffs as well. And it's that fucking simple. Trust me, folks. I don't give a damn how high-tech their weapons are. Or how bulletproof. Homeland Security don't have the fucking balls to go up against the citizens and the police departments of this country. Let alone the citizens. Are you fucking kidding me? You know what the citizens of this country would do to this country? We like war. We like violence. If you think we're just going to stand fucking by while other people get to beat the shit out of you and cut your throat, you're sadly mistaken. We're going to be getting our fucking slices in left and right. I cannot wait. I pray I live for that day. Any person having knowledge of the commission of any treason. That, I mean, folks, that's the highest of all high. You've sold your country out. There's no fucking sentence for that except one death sentence. You know, back in the late 17, early 1800s, they didn't even try them. Washington went with his fucking posse to whoever it was. Right on the fucking spot, they hung him. Sometimes, right in front of the White House. And shit started to become, you know, a fucking novelty. You know, a big fucking uh, tourist attraction. So they put the gates up. That's where they got the big black fence. Before that, there was no fence. You could walk right up to the fucking White House. Security. If anyone there needs security, it's, it's the fucking citizens. To keep the government out of there. That is the people's house. That you're kicking your fucking stinky feet up on there, Mr. President. That is the people's house. That you had crack pipes hanging from the fucking Christmas tree and smoking crack. On Christmas Eve, Mr. Clinton. Oh, 
every president all the way back uh, I'd want I want to say FDR but I can't play favorites okay I'd say FDR or Truman every one of them should be fucking hung for treason every one of them Kennedy too An open letter to the leaders of the Islamic Republic of Iran sent by 47 Republican senators and that's exactly how they sent it fucking people think the government don't know what they're doing uh, moron moron Obama's a constitutional lawyer. You think he don't know that he's breaking constitutional law? It's a good one. I'd, I'd like to read it, but it would fucking take 15 minutes in itself. You know, you got to turn your head like this and read the word. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. But trust me, it's good. They laid the law down. They said we don't we don't agree with this and we're not gonna have any part in it. And that's how it fucking should be. You're gonna let some fucking one guy push you around? What one guy in his cabinet? You're gonna let him fucking push around the whole group, huh? I'd love for someone to fucking threaten me like that. Don't fucking threaten me with a good time. I'd fucking threaten him right back. I'd be like, I know a lot more people than you do, buddy. And in that, in that, in that position, you better act first. It's assassination day. And get ready for it, folks. I'm fucking telling you. And Trump is really, really, really pushing it now. So I will, ad I will admit to this. I don't think Trump's fucking around because he said way too much damaging shit that any of them would want to be his friend anymore or anything to do with him, which is why they fucking attacked him. See the Republicans attacking their own fucking running guy? Hello? Oh, but they were doing that defending him or defending themselves. Then why'd they both attack him? And then everyone else started jumping on the fucking bandwagon. And here's Trump standing there alone, fucking, you know, trying to get through your thick fucking skulls. What the hell is going on? You're still fucking stuck in La La Land. All you know is that there's about to be a riot and you want in on it. TeaPartyTribune.com The Constitution Free Zone is anything but constitutional. Okay, folks, these are called no-go zones. You might recognize it from about a year or two ago. This is what they do. 130 mile or 110 mile border from the Mexican border into the United States where you will be checked for those 130 miles. Ask for your papers, please. And yeah, illegalities, legalities, they don't care. might want to come to OpenSecrets.org if you're thinking about voting. 
I want to have a fucking clue as to what in the hell you're voting for. If you could come to this page, leave it, and seriously fucking tell me you still think about voting, you've got a mental disorder, my friend. Here's all the people involved. It's all the influence and lobbying. It even has the fucking think tanks and the packs. News analysis. I suggest taking a look at the blog. Campaign finance leaks. Issue profiles. Uh, center press releases. 